Hi guys, so today I have a message that's going to be a little bit different. There was a very strong message coming through last night. What do your grandbabies want to say to you and think of you? So, for any grandparents out there, especially ones that are having issues with their children, this is for you. You are amazing. I know all that you have done. I also know that you are not the same person you were once, which I also love. You are amazing and have come such a long way. Stop the self-hate, the guilt, the lack of compassion and forgiveness for you. You deserve so much more than you realize, and you give all those things to everyone else. I am so proud of you. You are so strong to have gone through everything that you have. You have worked so hard to grow, learn, change, and do better. Some of you could have been there for the Great Depression too. That's better than an apology any day, but an apology is also important. Speak from your heart and tell them that you love them and you are sorry. You already mean it because you see the issues and have been working to fix them. You can do this. So I wrote that message last night and then I pulled some cards this morning to go with it. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, so I figured I would just do a message with this for my message today or for my reading today. So they definitely see you as somebody that is very different from everyone else, somebody that is out of the box, but you may also keep things very surface level a lot of the time, and they really wish that you would open up and express your emotions more. They feel like it's time to let go of the past hurt, the heartbreak, the pain, the sadness, the loss, the feelings of grieving, to end that cycle out and to free yourself from that and to express your emotions without being afraid of expressing them to just allow yourself to feel everything that you're feeling and express it and know that through doing that patience will pay off and things can be healed they definitely see all the transformations that you have made how much wisdom you have gained from everything and you may have been a very harsh person in the past in some ways when it came to the way that you raised your children but they also know that you're a very different person than you used to be at that point in time they know that you've gained a lot of wisdom through everything that you've been through they also know that you're extremely strong stable solid somebody that they could lean on if they ever needed to Spontaneous. Do you like spontaneous adventures of the highest caliber? The only acceptable answer is yes. So buckle up, Charlie. You're about to take a wild ride through the unexplored and unconventional and underrated. You're about to learn that yes is a magic word with the power to unlock new dimensions in space, time, and after hour hangouts. Yes will lead you to experiences you didn't think were possible and teach you that lifelong friendships are sometimes lurking just behind a karaoke singer's mullet. There's a pretty good chance your name's not Charlie, by the way. Love. Love is a many splendored thing. Today, I will notice and appreciate at least three of those splendors, like the fact that puppies make me feel like a parent, or the surge of self-congratulations I feel when I sink a three-point basket shot on the first try, or how about the chills I get when I sing along to, L is for the way you look at me. <laughs> Joy. To enjoy something, I simply need to add joy to it. Joy is like butter. I can put it on anything and it'll make it way better. Today, I will add joy to everything. I'll really slather it on there. Today, I am the Orville Redenbacher of joy and life's popcorn's about to get it. So they really want you to just be happy, to enjoy life and to have fun with them. They really enjoy going on adventures with you, going new places with you, doing new things with you. And they really wish that you were fully present with them and in the moment with them. And they feel like if you were able to finally express the things that you need to express, finally able to just apologize and get that weight off your shoulders and tell people how much you love them and that you were just trying to do the things to show them that you love them. And you know now that some of the things that you did were not that great. I think that they feel you would definitely be able to turn things around for yourself in your life and really be able to enjoy life so much more. They definitely love working on art projects with you as well. If you do art projects together, they love that. They love your patience. They love your emotional stability. You may have had some very severe emotional problems 
back in the day when you were dealing with your children, you may have had some pretty severe emotional problems. You could have gone through a lot of abuse or trauma yourself growing up. And um, you could have been working really hard not to put your kids through the same abuse or trauma. And for you, it could have been a lot of more physical abuse, things like that. And then with your kids, it might have been more mo mental and emotional type of things. And even if you didn't try to hurt them, you did hurt them. And so there's been a rift and a distance between you for a long time. If you swallow your pride and allow yourself to heal that gap and bridge that gap by apologizing and expressing how you could have done things differently or that you see that now and letting them know that if you notice I treat the grandkids differently, they may even feel very upset because you treat the grandkids so differently than you did them. But that's because you know that the way you treated them was not the best way. <clears throat> so you've really learned how to handle things in a much more patient way, in a much more stable way. And definitely it's time to free yourself from any of the ties that keep you bound up and to really accept how amazing you are and how much love you have coming towards you because your grandkids think you are seriously like the bee's knees, the best thing that ever happened to them. And yes, they do know all the stories about when you were younger because their parents have told them about the things that they went through in their childhood. <clears throat> and at the same time, they know that you are not the same person that you were then. And I feel like they would really like not only you to heal, but their parents to heal as well. And you being able to throw the game to get the win, being able to sacrifice your pride on the altar is something that could heal an entire family. So take the steps necessary to add more joy and fun to your life and to make sure that you are doing what you can to bridge this gap. You may have tried everything under the sun, but if you have not tried this, then try this. So that is what I have for you guys in your message. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you guys had to say about it, whether or not it resonates, what you might be going through. And I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.